All right, hello everybody, and welcome back to the Super Light Coupe build. In this video, we are going to cover connecting the uh, vacuum line or power brake and vacuum line components in the front compartment. And uh, before we get started with that, though, I did some work off camera since our last episode, so I wanted to bring you up to date. Uh, there are really two items that I did. I installed this rear this rear uh, bar uh, on the front compartment. And one thing to point out, you know, the standard location of that bar is in this hole uh, right below it. Uh, but because I have an extended foot box, uh, it basically gets in the way, so I had to raise that up a little bit, no big deal. The other thing is I was able to uh, mount the the vacuum pump and also the hydraulic pump so you can see the tops of the screws there. I uh, finally uh, got the courage enough to drill some more holes in the chassis and that came out really nice. I, I really like the way everything lays out here. The other thing is I raised uh, which hole this uh, you know the hydraulics connect to because that line was pretty close to the coolant tube so now it, it clears the coolant tube quite a bit uh, so everything looks really tidy and really the the last thing that i'm going to be installing in the front compartment would be the vacuum hoses and and, and other other items that need to operate the brake booster okay so We'll take a walk over to the work table and I'll show you what I'm up to. Okay, well what we're looking at is a check valve and brake booster hose assembly for a Z06 Corvette. And I bought this hose assembly to scavenge a number of the parts off of it to set up the brake booster on the Superlight Coupe. So let me point out a couple things. So this is a check valve and a vacuum pressure sensor. Uh, this is a quick connect fitting, a check valve, another check valve, and another quick connect fitting. And the way the brake booster works on a Z06 Corvette, this end is attached to the supercharger manifold and it will pull vacuum you know, out from the brake booster, through the check valve, into the manifold, uh, etc., and then into the engine. Now, because it's a high performance engine, it doesn't always pull enough vacuum to, uh, you know, to provide enough boost to stop the car effectively. So, the way it's designed is this pressure sensor will realize there's not enough not enough vacuum in the brake booster and turn on the electric uh, brake booster vacuum pump which is connected here and then this will pull extra vacuum through this T through the check valve and provide enough vacuum in the brake booster so essentially the primary vacuum source is the manifold the secondary vacuum source is the electric brake booster. Apparently the electric brake booster is effective enough to run all on its own, uh, but this is the way they have the Z06 set up from the factory. So I figure let me sort of mimic or imitate uh, how a Corvette Z06 is set up uh, because if ultimately somebody wanted to take this car on the track, I think it would be better to have more vacuum so the brake booster you know, sort of recharges itself as quick as possible. Okay, so I'm going to uh, continue to design the system here and we'll see where these parts ultimately wind up. All right, so uh, let's get to work on this piece of the build. So what you're looking at are all the parts that I scavenged off of the, the vacuum tube assembly. I will say I, I had a cut, I literally had to cut these parts off with a razor blade uh, from the vacuum tube and that tubing is really impressive it's very very light it doesn't require a hose clamp or anything like that uh, but the problem is it's just not reusable 
I try to heat it up with hot water and I tried a couple different things and, and nothing worked. So I just very carefully used the razor blade and, and, and put a slit through the end of the tube and then, and then used some small uh, clippers and, and pulled it off. So anyway, this is nice. I've got all these factory components now as part of my project here. And then over here, I actually have the brake line hose that we'll be using or the vacuum brake hose that we'll be using. You know, when you go on Summit or you go on eBay, I mean, there's tons of choices for vacuum hoses. But for a power brake booster, you need a very specific kind of hose that is reinforced. So uh, unfortunately, they only sell this in like 50 foot length. So I'll, I'll just sell the balance on eBay, no big deal. But you can see the reinforcement fabric. It's probably nylon or something like that in the hose. And this can handle, uh, you know, quite a bit of vacuum boost. And, and it's appropriate for, for uh, the use that, that, we're, uh, that we're dealing with. And then I have a Vintage Air AC bulkhead fitting. Uh, this is for a number 10 line. And what I do is I cut off, you know, I cut off the, the sheaths and or the, the the collars here and it leaves a, a 3 8 inch barb fitting uh, this hose is 11 30 second but it's got enough flexibility to expand to a 3 8 inch fitting and, and fits nice and tight uh, let's see the other comment is yeah i was thinking of using the fancy an fittings instead of these these look a little more you know industrial strength or or maybe a little oem like uh, but I have this on the side with the a with the air conditioning hose and then I use the number six For the radiator overflow hose. So I figured I'd just stick with the same look instead of using uh, the fancy anodized AN fittings uh, You know really doesn't really doesn't matter to me. I sort of like that OEM OEM look, okay so anyway, I'm going to uh, cut up the hose and, and start to assemble this together. Well, to get the hose, you know, the hose is, a, is slightly undersized here. You know, it's not 3 8 inch hose, and these are 3 8 inch fittings for the most part. Uh, so I use a little bit of the silicone grease, and that helps the hose get onto the fitting. All right, well, we got the... I'll consider this the first version. I don't know if this will be the final version. Uh, but we do have the new vacuum and check line assembly complete. And you can see we finished cleaning up these uh, AC bulkhead and fittings. Uh, it's a really tight squeeze. So I was debating whether to go to the AN fittings. They have some other fittings that, that I used actually on the hydraulic line that are a little smoother and go on a little easier. But you know what? I got multiple ribs here that will create a really good seal. So I think I'm just gonna go with these. Uh, the next thing to do is we gotta drill a hole through the front compartment for the bulkhead, and then I'll, I'll put it all together. All right, well, took a deep breath and drilled another hole. In the front compartment here, you can see I was doing some uh, calculus figure out where these where these holes needed to go I actually needed to make sure I didn't run into the the washer bottle so I actually reversed the mount and just put it out here to make sure this vacuum line bulkhead uh, clears the uh, clears the washer bottle so I think it went okay I'll put this together we'll take a look okay well we got it all back together I'll briefly describe sort of what we're looking at here. Uh, so you have the two bulkheads. You've got the radiator bleed line on the bottom, and now we have the, the vacuum line that'll run to the supercharger manifold up top. I sort of like those bulkhead fittings. They just sort of match the car nice. They're all aluminum. And then we'll take a peek in here. You'll see the, the bulkhead fittings on this side. I had to make sure I it did not interfere uh, with the washer bottle, but it worked out okay. And then uh, you can sort of see here, everything's so dark, but you can see the uh, hose with the T-fitting 
and the check valves connecting to the brake booster. So if I zoom out, I mean, I continue to really like how organized everything is. And I think I'll call it a wrap. Uh, I could officially say I'm done with the front compartment. Uh, the only thing really left to do up here would be uh, the brake lines and electrical, but the brake lines, eh, that's a whole nother, that's a whole nother uh, segment, and I'll, I'll do the brake lines for the whole car. At some point, this will all come off the car. I have to uh, weld up these extra holes on the side panels, and also I have to apply uh, sound deadener and heat shielding on the front, uh, front of the passenger compartment. Okay, so anyway, as always, thanks for watching and take care.